Okay, I want to get out of the advertisement mode and into one of my favorite stories I've heard all year, which is Matthew Perry. I mean, he's one of the world's favorite actors on Friends. I mean, he was such a fun guy that everybody feels like they have a Matthew Perry in their life. And when you watch Friends enough, and a lot of people have serial watch Friends, I'll watch it over and over and over. People burn out their DVD collection by watching it too much because a lot of people who are lonely, who don't have a friendship circle around them, watch Friends and they felt like they had a group of friends and they've grew with them. And this, the show lasted so many seasons. And Matthew Perry's character was, he grew so much in the show. So people loved him. But what we didn't know is a secret life behind the scenes. He was struggling with drug addiction that came from abuse he experienced as a child. And so this drug addiction, there was times on the set that he wasn't even coherent or he doesn't remember. Like he looks back and he blacked out on certain seasons. And it, it was a really hard journey for him because the rest of the friends seemed to have more of a, they didn't have the, the addiction in their lives. They seemed to have more put together in the, their lives. And yet he was constantly battling the demon of, addiction in his life. And he talks about this in his new book. And uh, when he talks about this, it was really interesting. I was reading through it and someone had told me about it. I was reading through it and man, Chandler on, on friends is nothing like the Matthew Perry real life, which is good. We should be totally different than our, our personas that we play. He's played many personas and he's a completely different person. But he's revealed how he experienced a breakthrough in his battle with alcohol addiction, specifically after a prayer. He said, God, please help me. And I want to play this clip and I'm going to read the rest of this and just tell you guys this because this is an incredible story. But Glenn, go ahead and play that clip. Knelt down and said, God, you can do whatever you want to me. Just please make me famous. And three weeks later, I got friends and God didn't forget about the first part. <laughs> hey, hmm, what do I want to do to him? Yeah. <laughs> that kind of Faustian bargain. Very that I bad made. disease at yeah. the same time. And uh, then deep into addiction, there was a more, much more real prayer, you know, to save my life, you know, and that was answered as well. So here's when he really said, uh, he goes deeper into this in his book story. So he shares this on podcasts all the time. He's like, God's the reason he said, show me that you're here. This was his exact prayer. God, please help me. And he started to cry. He said, I really started to cry. That shoulder shaking, kind of uncontrollable weeping. And I wasn't crying because I was sad. I was crying because for the first time in my life, I felt okay. I felt safe. I felt taken care of. Decades of struggling with God and wrestling with life and sadness, all was being washed away like a river of pain gone. I had been in the presence of God. I was certain of it. And this time I had prayed for the right thing. Help, he continued. Perry's first prayer ever prayer request was for God to make him famous. And he, he just said that in that clip. He also wrote in the book. I look back at it as a dumb prayer, like a prayer like a really young person. He told US presenter Diane Sawyer. The 53-year-old's new biography explores his journey to sobriety and the way his parents' divorce led him to start drinking at the age of 14. He shared he went to rehab 15 different times and gave insight into why the struggles with addiction while filming Friends happened. And, you know, he tried to stay sober for two years based solely on that encounter with God. He was able to, and God showed him a, sil a sliver of what his life could be in that encounter. Can you imagine? So God shared with him, this is what your life can be like when he felt the presence of God. And he said, he saved me that day. Jesus saved me for all days, no matter what. He turned me into a seeker, not only of sobriety and truth, but also a seeker of him. Perry has previously been described as a non-religious person. Uh, in different places that, you know, he's, he's mentioned. And so I thought, wow, what a story. You know, like you think of a person like Matthew Perry, who has gone through so much very publicly. And a lot of people are just kind of like, it must be shameful to feel that. Like you've, you've gone through 15 rehabs as you have a very successful career as one of the most celebrated people on TV for a long time. Still has a lot of money coming in from the show, friends, syndication, and now God's operating. And I can't wait to see what God could do in his life and how this might turn into a give back to even just causes and charities and ministries and these kinds of things, just because I think, you know, once you, once you realize you're saved, once you realize what God did for you, a lot of times you spend your life in that give back, which is so beautiful. So just wanted you guys to hear that story. I, if you haven't heard it, it's so beautiful. And I know it's the beginning of the story. So, so don't uh, judge him as he's growing through it. Just kind of walk alongside it. If you hear clips or if you hear him say different things, because there was also some pretty raw stuff in the book that didn't line up with his newfound faith, he's still learning. So I wanna encourage you to allow him a learning process. We're all babies when we first get born again.